Every year, Bell like to add one new helmet into their lineup, but bear in mind, as a brand, they cover everything from street through to race through to motocross, so it can sometimes be a while before we see something overtly new to show you guys. But it is our turn in this part of the market, and we have here for you today the Bell Bruiser. This is due for release January 2020, and I think this will be a really exciting helmet. With the name and with the styling of it, it's clearly aiming itself at the street fighter segment of the market. But when you look particularly more at the plain colors, I think given everything it offers and the versatility it affords the Urban Rider, I think that this may well be a more popular and widespread helmet than perhaps even Bell intended. So coming in at $199.99, I think it's a really good price point for a helmet that is both dual homologated. That is to say it is road legal as both a full face as you see it now, and as an open face, and that is by virtue of the fact that it has a removable chin bar. So it's a really clever helmet. It has an internal retractable visor, which can be switched out for a different optional finish colors to the visor, like so. And then you have this jaw guard that can simply come off. So on the underside, you see you have these two gray hooks, and you simply open that out, remove the visor. It's very easy to do this, but of course, it's not something that's really designed to be done on the go at the lights or anything. But what it means is it can turn a helmet that is slightly limited, say, into something very versatile because on a really hot day, you can have it as an open face. Should it start to rain, it doesn't matter. You can carry this in your bag or in your luggage compartment and you can simply pop it back on really easily or depending on what look you wanna go for, etc., etc. It simply gives you two helmets in one and I think it genuinely looks really good in both configurations. You see that you've simply got these points that meet up on the front of the opening of the helmet on the open face configuration. It snaps in, it locks into place, and there you have, again, your full face road legal helmet. And I think that's brilliant. I think it's so easy to operate. Being Bell, it feels really well executed. This isn't the first time I've ever seen a helmet that does both of these things in one, but it's the first time I've seen a helmet that does this that I would actually want. And I think that the colorways that we have with the five different colors all revolving around a sort of black color spectrum, if you like. So we have the mat here with the white around the aperture, which looks really cool. And then we have a couple of other variants as well as just the plain matte black and the gloss black. I think they all look fantastic. As I said, you'll be able to accessorize probably shortly after the initial release of the helmet itself with this visor and you can get a smoked one or an iridium one as well, which I think lots of people are gonna want because it does give it that really nice edgy look to it. The shells themselves, so there are three shell sizes in the range. The sizing goes from extra small through to 2XL. So the smallest of the three shells is extra small and small. And then the next one is medium and large. And then the larger one is for XL and 2XL. So that's quite logical and straightforward. It's nice to have three shell sizes in a range of a helmet like this. The sizing being Bell is really straightforward and really true to the size. So a medium being 57 and 58, it's straightforward. It has that classic sort of universal intermediate oval head shape that we tend to offer on a lot of our more popular helmets. So I don't think you'll have any problems if you're trying to buy this online and you don't get the chance to get up and close with it before. So I think you can do so with confidence. And that's usually something we get to say when it comes to Bell. So you have these little points at which you can open the internally retractable visor. That's a nice point. And also just above where the cheek pads are, there is a little recess so that you can wear glasses with this too. Perhaps slightly more something you're likely to do with the open face configuration because I think it will look great like that. You've also got these genuinely practical and usable vents either at the top or on the chin bar as well. Again, both of these are easily operational on the go with gloves on as well. I love the side profile of the helmet. It slightly juts out at the bottom, giving it for me again, just a bit more of an aggressive purposeful look to it. The Bell branding is actually dark rather than the red of the logo again, which I think just integrates a bit more neatly to the overall design. The helmet's interior is removable and washable. It's also very comfortable as well, but the washable element to it does make it quite practical for long-term use. Bear in mind as well, Bell helmets all nowadays come with a five-year guarantee, which is staggering and it really is a testament to the quality that they offer. You have a simple ratchet system as well for easy access on the go, so nothing fussy about that whatsoever there. And a helmet then that weighs in in the medium at 1,350 grams, which is pretty lightweight for a full face configured helmet. Take that off and you're gonna save a couple of hundred grams at least. So you're gonna be around the sort of typical lightweight side to an open face helmet. In terms of the overall profile of the shell, I think given that it does house these mechanisms for the visor and also for the ability to take off the jaw guard, of course, it is relatively low profile. It's not by any means the thinnest, most low profile helmet we offer but it's very close and it does really look very good in even the open face configuration, which with these kind of modular helmets I've seen in the past wasn't typically the case. 
So I'm a big fan, I think this will be really popular and at the price point I think it's very fair at $199.99 but more than what I think, what do you guys think? Do let us know your thoughts and comments in the section below and please do subscribe to our channel to be the first to find out about the world's finest riding gear. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you again soon, goodbye.